What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to use the tabs activity in Android Studio. So we can swipe left and right and we're also going to deal with tabs but we can still swipe left and right. Let's go ahead and get started. Whenever you start it up the preset is going to look something like this. It is going to have a Java file right here and a corresponding XML file and then a fragment. And what that looks like is this right here. This is the preset. We have three sections. We could swipe left and right, or we could click them. It has a button down here, toolbar up here. And that's exactly what um, the main activity shows. We have you know a toolbar section, a tab section, and a button. Toolbar, tab, button, and in here we load up a page. This is our view pager. We're going to load another activity or another fragment on each page. So in this example, it's actually only loading one fragment on each section and changing the string to correspond with the parameter. We can see that in the main activity. So let me go over that one more time just to be clear. There is a text view in the fragment that is loaded into the main activity to display right here and that is what you're seeing right there. So if we were to throw in, you know, a button or something and run it, we only changed one fragment. However, the way that this main activity Java file is coded is it adds that button on each page as you see. So we're going to go ahead into the main activity and we're going to go down, but we only really have to look right here. This is what it's doing. It's loading in a string. It has the text view right here, and it is changing it. We're going to go ahead and get rid of that text view in the fragment that we're loading in each view. We're even going to get rid of that button just to keep it basic. And now we can get rid of this text view. And now we're dealing with strictly a root view, just a view to load in. And what it's doing is it's loading this, if we were to, are to run this, it's loading an empty view onto each single tab. I just want to stress that one more time. So in this tutorial I'm going to only deal with two tabs. As you see we have section 1, 2, and 3 with a total count of 2. I'm going to change our total count to 2 or ch change it from 3 to 2, and then change this from 3 to 2. So now, we only have two sections, and they're empty, referencing this empty fragment. We're going to go ahead and make another fragment, uh, new fragment, blank. We're going to name this fragment, um, you know, second fragment. And then the second fragment, we're going to throw in a, you know, throw in a tech, throw in a, we'll just edit this text view that says second fragment right there. Uh, our text size will make it 30 SP. When dealing with font sizes, you want to use SP. Anything else, you want to use DP. But since it's font size, we're using SP. Now, let's go ahead and go into our main Java file. And if we were to run this, remember, we are only referencing this right here, fragment main, which is the plane activity. That is why it's still plain on both sections. We're going to go ahead and make a switch statement and say get arguments.getInt. Um, get int, and then we're going to do arg section number. Okay, what this is going to do is it's going to uh, basically tell you which section you're on. So we're going to get that. If we're on the first section, that is going to be case one. We're going to do something and then break. 
If it's on the second section, that's case two. Do something else, break. More specifically, load another page. That is what we're doing. So in here, uh, the way we load pages is with our views. We're going to define a view up here called root view, and we're going to initialize it to null. In our case one, we're going to say, we're just going to take this line of code, put it right in here, and say, if it's the first case, section one, we're going to reference fragment main. Now, if it is the second case, uh, we're going to reference our second fragment, which is this. So first tab should look like, we'll just put a button there, and the second tab should say that. Now we have an error here. Let's see what it says. Cannot resolve symbol root view. Okay, I'm not sure what the problem was there. Probably some Android Studio thing. But uh, just make a local variable, local variable so then we can return it later on. Let's go ahead and run this. So again, the first one is going to be this, second is this. And there we go. First one is the button, second one is our second fragment. Super easy. Android Studio makes it a little tricky because you have to change you know, the number of tabs you want down here. And here, you want to use a switch statement and then just do cases. Very simple. Have a local parameter, local variable right before it. So it's in the scope of this method that you can reference and return at the end. To be more uh, clear, a better name for this would be, you know, fragment first. Um, and then in our main activity, you know, reference first fragment. And you can add a third activity and then change the number of tabs. Uh, but that is how you do it. If you guys want to learn the tutorial on how to implement your own custom toolbar up here and have you know a settings button that is functional and um, customize your toolbar, go ahead and click the annotation, click the video right over here, or click um, you know the second tutorial over here if you're feeling a little edgy, <laughs> thinking you're advanced. And um, go ahead and give that a shot. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Very simple but Android Studio did make it a little complex to figure out. I'll see you guys.